And now joining us from Capitol Hill, Senate Foreign Relations Committee Chairman Bob Corker. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you so much for being with us. Tell us your assessment of the Syria strikes. Uh, very successful. Um, I had a nice conversation with the president last night and told him I was really proud of our nation um, and uh, thanked him for uh, taking the steps that he had taken. I, I felt like they were proportionate. Uh, they were the right steps. That they weren't over the top. They sent the right uh, message and and did an appropriate amount of destruction to uh, uh, the air base there in, in Syria. So I was very happy that he had done it. Told him that and uh, told him I was very proud of him also. Secretary Tillerson said yesterday, said last night after the strikes, that Russia was either complicit or incompetent in not securing these chemicals. Uh, the suggestion now is being followed up. Uh, there's military yeah. briefings going on at the Pentagon that yeah. the Russians who were embedded at that base may have been involved in the chemical attack. What are the stakes if that's the case? Yeah, I, I, I don't know if they were or not, and so therefore responding to an F is, as you know, Andrew, not something I do. But, but let me just say this. We've known for years that uh, all of the chemical weapons did not leave Syria. That We, we knew that in reports that we had gotten. Uh, so, the, you know, we knew that this was never complete, uh, That, and so unfortunately what happened happened. The, there are signs that the national security team is pulling together, that General McMaster is beginning to assert control. We've seen the new executive order removing Steve Bannon from the principals committee of the NSC. Uh, your assessment of how the team is working, they gave the president the options and within a day or the same day he approved them. Yeah, they had a meeting yesterday at 4 o'clock and uh, uh, laid out the options. The president made the decision. They went ahead. They carried it out professionally. I think it worked very, very well. I had a conversation yesterday night, yesterday evening with Secretary Tillerson also and multiple conversations with members of the NSC this morning. So I, I do think it's all gelling well. We're getting ready to have, as you know, Andrea, in just a few moments, uh, a, a run out uh, from, from Dunford. And, you know, look, there aren't additional activities that are planned right now. I know many people are asking this. That, that's not, there are additional options uh, should they be necessary. But this was exactly, Andrea, the kind of operation that I had hoped and was so disappointed didn't happen uh, back in 2013. I wrote the authorization for the use of force with Bob Menendez. We voted it out of committee. It wasn't even necessary because it was a 10-hour operation much like what we saw happen last night. So uh, this is long overdue. Um, I felt like that the moment in the Rose Garden the other day where the president, uh, as a new president, finally connected um, in the way that all of us have, who know people, who've been to these refugee camps, who talk to Syrians, who, who uh, I, I felt like it was a connection that was necessary and a real awakening moment for him. And, and again, I'm glad the steps were taken. No additional steps are planned at this time, but we're gonna get a review of, of, uh, uh, of where things stands in just a few moments. There's been some confusion, partly because of what Secretary Tillerson said, that regime change might now be on the table. Uh, we're told from yeah. the State Department that's not the case. Should it be? Well, I, I think, you know, there's, there's uh, look, Assad is not a legitimate leader. He is, a, in my opinion, a monster, uh, has been for some time. Uh, you've seen the photographs that Caesar has documented of what he's doing to his own people. You know he withholds medicines from people who need it. He bombs hospitals. I mean, this is a person that's not legitimate. How we get there, how we move beyond him, a big part of that is making sure he's held responsible for these uh, crimes against humanity, these war crimes that have taken place. I, I don't think it's time to get into the details of that now. When you have a meeting getting ready to take place with Russia, uh, in the very near future with Tillerson, and I think those conversations will begin. The pressure to me, Andrea, ought to be on the Russians. I mean, if Putin wants to be a, truly a world leader and at the table of world leaders, they should immediately withdraw support for this war criminal uh, if they have any degree of moral clarity. And so we'll see wh how they react to this uh, in the very near future. Mr. Chairman, thank you so much. Thank so you. much. Thanks thank for you. being with us. Hello. And we'll be right back.